first startup is Bain. So welcome Bain on the stage, please. We give him a warm welcome. Bain. Hello everyone. My name is Marcin. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, my name is Marcin. And for the last couple of uh, months I was working on a huge human problem uh, of presence. And uh, this problem starts uh, very innocent, as innocent as this empty bottle. It represents uh, the waste that we produce every day. It's empty bottles, uh, papers, uh, and other stuff. And uh, you probably don't know, but in Europe, every year, I will leave it. In Europe, every year, we produce over two, um, 200 billion tons of waste, household uh, waste. Uh, it is a big number, but uh, to give you an example how big uh, number is it, uh, let's imagine uh, something uh, big like a ship, it's Titanic, uh, and uh, this number means that we uh, every year produce almost or even over 4,000 uh, Titanics of waste, but only 15% of that uh, volume is uh, recycled. Uh, and the truth is that we can recycle almost 90% of our waste. So uh, the question is why there's a 75% gap between what we can do uh, and uh, what we really do. And probably uh, the, the biggest problem is that uh, we are not uh, preparing those uh, waste for recycling uh, very well. Usually it looks like this because uh, people uh, are not uh, are not uh, sorting uh, waste in a proper way. Why they are not doing this? There's many reasons because uh, sometimes it is even hard to say if it is plastic or it is glass. Sometimes they don't have space for this. Sometimes they don't don't have time for this. Uh, so. Uh, there's there's too many reasons to to count here. So uh, this this was the, the 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 time where came the idea that we should uh, give some kind of device or some kind of help to the people to do it in the right way. Oh, sorry. And this it, it it was the day when the Bini idea was uh, uh, created. And uh, what is Bini? It is the, the world's uh, world first intelligent bin. So it is the machine that for us, uh, this is the machine that for us will recognize the kind of waste we are throwing away, categorizes, sorts, and stores in a special department. Uh, everything is controlled by the computer, so we gather all the, all the information about what type of waste and uh, the quantity of waste we are storing. Uh, those information that we have, we can use for mobile uh, application for the user. Uh, we also have the application that learns itself how to deal with, uh, with uh, new products, for example. Uh, we can uh, optimize routes for collecting companies and we can exchange data with uh, smart city systems. Uh, and, uh, and where's the business? Because I, I, I think it will be the, 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 your, your first question. The business is in the product it itself, we would like to sell this product as a washing machine or, or dish machine. Uh, we will gain a lot of uh, useful information, so it's big data that we can handle. And also we would like to send, uh, sell the license for the technology of recognizing uh, those, uh, uh, those wastes. So basically that's it.
So, um, who's your team and why are you the right guys who are going to make this happen? Uh, we started as an IT company and uh, then we thought that uh, it would be uh, very nice to, to connect uh, IT with the real life. And, uh, and we gathered a, a few people who can, uh, who can do this. And also we cooperate with the um, University of Technology in, in Poznan. OK. Um, my question is, who's paying for this? Because it looks like it's a lot more expensive than a normal trash bin. Uh, uh, the user can pay for this because, for example, in California right now, uh, you pay five dollars for the uh, sorted uh, waste and one hundred dollars for unsorted waste. So this is the economical, you know. Okay, so you're targeting places where something like this is in place because if I'm a city anywhere where I don't have that law or that difference in in price for for sorted versus unsorted, then I just see a, a trash bin that's probably. 10 times as expensive as a normal one, 20 times as expensive. So where does the money come back to me that I say I want to buy a thousand of these and put them all over my city? Uh, I think that uh, it can be a few ways of financing it because, uh, for example, right now, uh, United um, Commission, uh, European Commission, um, acquiring uh, from all the countries to, to higher the rate of uh, recycle. So it will be also the authorities' uh, uh, business to, 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 reach this, uh, to reach this level. Uh, <laughs> do you have a working prototype? Uh, yeah, we have one prototype in TRL6 uh, phase, and now we're producing this uh, machine and it, it will be the, 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 the phase seven of the, of the prototype. And what about uh, manufacturing it, it itself? Do you plan to do it by yourself? Do you have like a partner who's going to develop it? No, I mean, no, scale no. It? no, no, it's impossible. It's, it's like uh, producing uh, washing machines. So there are companies doing it and uh, we're looking for the technological partner that will be able to produce it and also probably to introduce it to the market because it's uh, a huge, huge product with, with huge marketing uh, 20 seconds needed. Okay, and uh, one more question. Uh, what's the manufacturing cost? What, kind, what cost do you expect of this kind of a bin? Uh, right now, the costs are, are very high. I'm talking about this phase of you know, but, scaling it. Yeah, yeah. But, but the components that we are using are not uh, more complicated than in usual washing machines. So probably it should cost like a washing machine. All right, <coughs> All right. that was Beanie. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, let's welcome to the stage Monster and Devices. Hello, everybody. Wow, what a mad crowd. <laughs> it's nice that you're here. OK. Uh, so I have only five minutes, so I'll got to move on and speed up. Uh, so hi, I'm, my name is Chris. I'm from Monster and Devices, a high-tech company from Zielona Góra, based there. And I'm here with one of our projects called Touch Anywhere. So a few words about us. Uh, we are um, a specialist in the depth sensors sector. So we are working on different projects, but all of them have one thing in common. They are using the depth sensors and all the software that we produce and create are connected with that kind of and the part of the, of the segment of the business. So uh, we are um, as well called and um, nominated as the most innovative uh, uh, academic leader 2013 in Poland. And we are the Polish finalist of the first edition of uh, Google Warsaw Campus CE exchange program. So see you some of, the, of, some of you in the next week probably in, in Warsaw. Uh, but uh, talking about the product and talking about the, the Touch Anywhere software. Um, what's the problem? Usually, as you probably all know, we have a lot of different interactive boards, manufacturers on the, on the, on the market actually. Uh, different brands, different size. 
they are uh, all fucking highly priced. So if you would like to have something that you saw in the minority report when the Tom Cruise was, you know, browsing through the system and you saw the movie and said, whoa, I, want, I would like to have it in my house, you can have it, but you have to pay a huge price for that. Uh, the second thing is the mobility of the, of the solution, because if you buy uh, an interactive board uh, and you would like to move it to another place, another location, you have to just lift it up and just, you know, the gizmos are heavy and it, it's hard. So we thought about a totally different thing, something that it's not um, uh, present on the market actually, so we are surely swim in the blue ocean, not the red one, if you know what I mean. Uh, and. Uh, that's Touch Anywhere. What's Touch Anywhere and what's, what's doing this software? So with Touch Anywhere you can easily, within a few seconds, change any surface into a fully interactive wall. I'm repeating that once again. You can change any wall, any table, any surface into fully interactive touch screen. Uh, and what do you have to do to have such a solution? Have time. You have to use the standard laptop, the standard home projector, any of the depth sensors available on the market, like Kinect from Microsoft or Orbex stuff or uh, Creative or Asus, there are different uh, companies that produce the, the depth sensors, and our software. And with that combo, you can, within a few seconds, change any surface into fully interactive touchscreen. Um, the advantages of the solution, firstly, the price because the only thing that you have to buy is the depth sensor. If you have uh, Xbox, probably you have the Kinect already, but if you'd like to have the depth sensor, you can go to any electronic shop and buy it for like $50 or so. So that's the only price that you have to just take. Uh, what's the uh, other advantages? The second one is the, 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 the the operating system. So you are just using the bare hands to operate the system. So you are not using the pen, the infrared sticks and so on. You're just using the bare hands. So it's the most common and most uh, natural way to interact with the with the with the system. Yeah, like the um, the millennials or the Z generation, the two-year-old people are using the browsing the the YouTube to find the the cartoon that they want. So for the young generation, it's the most common and most uh, uh, standard way of communicate with the with the with the software. And the third thing, the mobility of the, the solution, because. For example, imagine that you are a young father and you would like to have um, to play with you with your little son and you would like to have some uh, educational games and so on. So you can turn your wall into in the dining room into the full interactive screen. And you are the gamer and you would like to have the um, the battle in the um, Angry Birds or Fruit Ninja in the basement. Not a problem. Or you are a, a teacher and you would like to prepare the presentation for the for the students in the class. With this solution, you can do this within within few seconds. Um, market estimation and the, the the segments of the clients. I already told you, told you so some 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 words about the B two C clients, but there are B two B markets as well. For example, um, like the um, sh the schools, universities, the the shopping galleries. When you can use this solution instead of standard interactive walls, uh, the the markets, the the hotel chains, or uh, the agencies, interactive agencies. The business model, we already started to build the right. chain of local <laughs> distributions yeah, it's time, around time the time world. Time. Three minutes for the jury. Okay, <laughs> sorry, as, as usual, <laughs> I'm talking too much. Hey. I've got the working one, it would seem. One of us has. The voice of Poland. So, hi, great business. Um, you didn't quite get onto your business model part, so I'm going to ask you about that. Um, do you see yourself as a software company or a hardware company? Because it seems you know like we are um, on the edge actually, because we are working with the software because we are not using own hardware yet. The, one of the milestones is to produce own depth sensor in the future, but we are too small actually to have it now, right now. Uh, and we are working with the solutions that uh, are existing on the market, like I said, the, the Microsoft Kinect and so on. But one of the milestones for the company is to produce own depth sensor and work with that hardware. But now we are supporting the technology, the software that it's, um, it's working with the, all the devices that are available on the market. And do you see that as a risk, the fact that 
you're working with existing hardware. I mean, these these huge companies essentially. Are you not worried that they're going to kind of come in and maybe take over, have a look at your IP or something? Uh, you know, we try to collaborate and cooperate with the companies. Some of them are willing to do so uh, because we know it's uh, um, a tough, tough work. You know, because we spend like. Uh, over a year to work with the iteration of the software to have it right now, right here. You can just check how the solution works. We are having our demo down there at the startup section and you can just came and saw because the, the product is out of the pipe. It's ready to scale. It's ready to be sold and we're willing to kick off the, the, the sales within a few weeks probably. We are building the chain of uh, distributions around the Europe and around the world. We will be uh, at the CES in v Vegas at, at January, so we want to just kick it off hardly and in the big bank. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. So what is your Hello. business model? Because you didn't get to that. And the other part <laughs> of the question, I understand that as an individual user, I can buy your solution. Yeah, how, the how much would it cost? The business model, it's, uh, we are losing the, the chain of distributions, but we are willing to hit the, the, the end customer, the standard uh, projector owner. Like if you have the projector in your house and many people just choose the, the projector instead of LCD uh, and new, new plasma TV. And now having this projector, you don't have to just watch the movies and eat the popcorn or play the, the games on the console. You have other feature like the interactive wall in your, in your home. Yeah? And that's the end customer and that's the business model. We would like to hit the B2C client and uh, with the lifetime license actually. So we are not putting in on the CES or we are not putting in like the one year the solution and you have to buy it regularly and pay for that. It's a like Microsoft Windows model. Yeah? You just buy the license and have it with all the updates, all the customer support and so on. And the price, uh, we set it on like 400 euros for the end user. So that's the price. And as I said, you have the lifetime license for the stuff. All right, monsters Thank and you. devices. Thank you very much. And let's welcome to the stage Yade Zabiore. Hi, I'm Peter from yadezabiore.com. What does it mean? I think our global name explains everything. Global name, drive and collect. At the beginning, I would like to tell you a short story. It's a story of two guys, enterprising, resourceful, very ambitious. These guys, about a few years ago, were in England in a car full of stuff that, that they had to deliver there. But on the way back, the car was empty. So they thought that must be someone who would like to send a package to Poland. But how to find him, where to look. There wasn't a place. So they decided to create it. And this is how was born the yadazabiore.com. These guys were Wojciech Schulz, entrepreneur with 10, 20 years of exper experience. For the 10 years, he's sending package to Germany or, or UK. Um, the other guy, Lukas Starowicz, is a Polish representative at the Winter Olympics in snowboard in Nagano. Now his hunger for sports success has turned it into hunger of business success. And about a year ago, I joined the team. Peter, I work in digital marketing for about um, 10 years. I worked for companies like McDonald's, Microsoft Dynamics, Toyota, and many more. Together, we work on a solution that will solve a couple problems. But in general, two, the, the, the most important for us are two issues. First, the high cost of deliver the same day. If you are going to send something that should be delivered the same day, it's almost impossible or very exp expensive. Or if you are going to send a package that is custom, like dog, like something, something uh, oversized, uh, it's hard to do um, it, it, it so. So our solution is the first Polish social, social economic uh, network that connect drivers with uh, package senders. How does it work? 
Very simple. If you are going to send a package, go to theadazabiore.com, add an offer. Maybe you will find a person who will take your package and deliver it on even the same day. If you are going somewhere, add an offer, take a package, and reduce the cost of your uh, travel. Have time. Our market is home market of packages in Poland, but our main market is the market of same-day delivery that in four years will be, mo will be worth, worth more than $4 billion. But there's a potential market because 70% of cons consumers will send package this in the same day the delivery model, but they don't want to pay more. Where are we now? We are here from about a year. Now we've got more than 2,500 users. They are adding more than uh, 150 offers monthly. But for us, very important is that we are creating the network, the big network of people that are searching for an uh, opportunity to reduce the cost of the transport. For us, very important is that we have managed to engage a Polish media like Forbes, Onet, Politica, Antweb, and above us, uh, even many, many Polish influencers like Sadek, thank you, Paweł Tkaczuk, Michał Gorecki, Yuri, and many others. Our competition, our competition is very simple. Our competition are the post or professional careers, but uh, we can deliver a package same day, they can, but it's, uh, it's very, very expensive. In yadazabiore.com, it, uh, it costs uh, the same as uh, normal packages. And our business model, I hope you know it because it's very simple I, and, and I hope, I, I, I'm sure you are using it. It's a Uber business model. So if you are using um, our platform, you are paying for it, one part of, of, of your payment is going to us. Thank you very much. OK, so uh, first question from my side. I like, the, I like the business model, but the question is about the risk and the legal things, yeah? What happens if somebody passes a package that it co contains, I don't know, alcohol that's forbidden uh, on some countries or something like this, yeah, when you scale it? What, what happens in this case? Uh, well, security is for us very important. So all of our users are verifying in four methods. ID, scan of ID, uh, bank account number, Facebook account, and telephone number. So if you are sending something with yadazabiore.com, you, um, we, we, we would like to you be sure that you are sending it with, your, with someone that is like your friend, that you know it, that, that is, is, is verified. So... Uh, this is the answer. And in the worst case that somebody disappears with the package, who's responsible for it? Uh, in this, this case, uh, for, for sure, we, uh, we will take it. And it but um, we are verifying our users because we, we have to know who, 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 who was he. I have a question. Um, this obviously is great on paper if everybody's using it, right? Because then there's no problem, I need to send a package there and somebody will take it. The question is, how are you gonna get to that point where you have the critical mask? Be, uh, mass? Because now you say, you have 150 offers put in every month. What does yes. that mean, an offer? An offer, an offer, so it's an offer of someone who's uh, sending a package or who, it, who, will, uh, who can take a package. Okay, and of those that put in a package that they want to get transported somewhere else, what's the per percentage of packages that actually can get delivered through your platform? Now it's about 30% of, of 20. this. 30% 30, 30 of, of them. Because um, now we are on the way where we, we are building, we are just building a a network of drivers, drivers, because the, now the drivers are for us very important. Because if we will, you will not find a person which will take your package. Will you will back once, the other time, but you will you will not back. So so now, I have to say that we we, we started about a year a year ago. So we are on the beginning, on the way.
we take questions from this guy? <laughs> no, no, thank you. Uh, I, I, I would like to elaborate more, uh, a bit more about uh, on, on traction. On, uh, you, you mentioned 150 packages or offers. Uh, how, many, how many packages have you sent and in, in, in what period? Now it's about um, 30 packages a month with uh, private users. But also, we've got couriers pan panel where we are connected with professionals, professional carriers. So then the number, 30 or, or 30, it's, it depends on amount, it's for private users. And there are many, many packages that we are just uh, connecting people with professional carriers. I get it. How many in total? How many in total, monthly? Yeah. I don't know because professional couriers we didn't measure yet. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, this will be Big applause. And welcome to the stage, Band Barion. Hello, everyone. My name is Bartosz Jemdrasik, and I represent Team Band Barion a group of passionate developers who have a fresh idea for a mobile game that might just rock the world. Our game, well, let me start with the problem first. The problem is very simple, very straightforward. Childhood obesity. Now that we have the problem out of the way, let's talk about how we can do, what we can do to fix it with a mobile game. Bandbarian tells a story of a warrior from a fantasy world who, who acts as a virtual avatar for our player. We blend the lines between the real world and fantasy with the user's smartphone, fitness tracker, and even virtual reality goggles. The game character progresses, he develops and grows stronger along with the player's physical activity. The, our goal as developers is extremely simple. All we want to do is to make our players move. It's how you make progress in our world. The core mechanic of Band Barion is overcoming challenges, basically. These can be issued by our friends, our family, and even the game itself. Like in this case, we get a random task to walk 1,000 steps, and now our real journey begins. We must grab our fitness trackers and get moving. Any sort of ex exercise is fine, as long as we are burning calories. Uh, completing activities gives us energy, which is a sort of currency which we can use to buy randomized reward crates. If we're done with training for the day, we can still gather more energy by relaxing to one of Band Barion's minigames. There, there are few things so, so motivating as healthy rivalry. Like in this case, we have our, fr we have our friend Oliver, uh, Sven, who is challenging his friend Oliver from acro across the world. He's essentially telling him, I'm going to exercise now, try to surpass my score. So Oliver. Uh, receives this challenge and he has the option to either accept it or deny it but he's competitive by nature obviously so he will try to it's, he will try to match Oliver's score Sven's score um, in this case he's using a um, technology we're exper experimenting with by combining an IoT enabled gym machine with a virtual reality environment uh, once uh, once the challenge timer expires the winner will get showered with energy, along he will get also the bragging rights, avatars will fight each other, and we will get some uh, reward crates which we can use to customize our character. We reward all kinds of activity with customization items which, get, which make us more unique and stand out more in the game. And if we're satisfied with how our character look, looks like, we have the option to have him 3D printed along with his outfit uh, and delivered to us as a figurine. To do that, we teamed up with a distributed manufacturing service called Printalize. They, they basically handle all the production and distribution of those figurines. And that's only the beginning of our business model. We operate on Blue Ocean, which means that basically we are, uh, we are free to explore new possibilities and shape the unsaturated as of yet market without any direct competition. But we are surrounded by the Red Ocean, which means that uh, we have indirect competitors in the form of fitness apps, and also games with an avatarization focus. Also worth noting are the currents running between those. We can see that game, more and more games are trying to include fitness awareness, while more and more apps, uh, fitness apps uh, are trying to have more gamification in them. Um, sorry? Uh, right, but 
because we're fighting with ch childhood obesity, we still need to engage adults because only 2% of children make in-app purchases. To do that, we developed a separate companion app called Bandbarian Parent. What it does, it, is, uh, it allows a, a parent to link his account, to the account of his child, and uh, issue him challenges with customizable rewards. So, for example, we can say that uh, I will give you two additional hours of playtime on your Xbox if you burn 500 calories, and he does that, uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, we, uh, the parent has also the option to use the standard band barren reward scheme so that the game chooses the most suitable in-game reward by itself or choose to invest a small sum of real-world money for even more powerful uh, in-game incentives. Also, wh what about... Um no, okay. Uh, what about uh, people who do, do not possess the, uh, a fitness tracker that we currently support? Well, for those people, we, we offer the convenience of uh, getting our own branded fitness tracker in a box version. Uh, the way we, the way we, uh, we um, managed it is uh, we negotiated a bulk cost of about $13 per white label fitness tracker unit. The branding itself costs us $2, and we sell with a $25 markup. Um, you don't have to buy your child uh, a, a fitness tracker that will drain 40 to 80 percent of your Christmas gift budget, uh, just so just so that he can play one game. If you don't have if you don't have one already, our option is cheaper and it is guaranteed to work with your child's fitness game out of the box. So we utilize the free-to-play model. So the app itself is free to download and you can play it for as long as you want. Uh, uh, Non-paying players are regularly rewarded with uh, customization items. That's it? That's five minutes? Yeah, okay. that's five minutes. Very sorry. Three Too minutes bad. for okay. the jury. Is the game finished and are people already playing it? Not yet, but we have beta testers uh, who are testing it for us. We obviously have the limitation that we need to supply a fitness tracker for all of our testers. So it's, uh, so it's mostly a group of our friends and family right now. Uh, we're planning on releasing the game in the first quarter of 2016. And yeah, I guess that answers the question. Do you have any re results from this beta testers that you could share with us? Well, the game... The, the, Version of the game that you saw is actually uh, is on actually only the latest. Actually, not even the latest. It's actually a bit older footage. Uh, the game looked wildly different back when we was went back when we started developing it. Uh, we t we experimented with with certain features that never made it into the into the final product. Like the um, the initial idea was just to make a game that will be controlled with a fitness tracker. That's it. Uh, we didn't really uh, think about the competitive aspect, and that's what that's what people were always uh, telling us that the competitive aspect. When they just see on their phone that hey, this guy um, he ran like a couple of, a couple of more kilometers than we did that day. So what can we do to to surpass him? And they found that engaging. They found that exciting. So we focused on the player versus player aspect of our game. That's as an example of uh, how we adapt the feedback we get. But I meant rather, do you have any data about the actual kids uh, being engaged and losing weight? That's something we... Let me think of it, uh, about an answer for this one. Um, because, because from my perspective, many kids, uh, they have this problem with switching apps really constantly and the lack of engagement uh, is an issue here. So my, my question is, do you have any feedback from kids doing this uh, on a daily basis and, and uh, gaining some results? Okay, so we have a couple of, uh, of younger testers who are actually engaged in the game. We're, we can't really tell for sure if it's because we told them to or if they really find the game fun. However, the fact still stands that, that as, uh, as you noticed, uh, children are still glued to their uh, to their electronic devices, and that's why we we developed it as an uh, as a universal Android, iOS, and basically we use the Unity engine to leverage all mobile platforms, so that no matter what kind of device the the child would uh, would have on hand, he will always have the option to play the game whenever he wants. Um, hi. So, the entire business model is based on in-app purchases, or not exactly. Uh, the in-app purchases are just one, are just one um, are just one column of it. Uh, we also uh, 
are going to, uh, we are also have plans of selling our own branded fitness trackers uh, as a toy on store shelves. We uh, already have uh, a partner who has agreed to uh, enable a very certain distribution channel for us uh, uh, through the um, me Polish media store uh, chain Empik. Um, and also, not only, not only that, but we also have um, the 3D printing feature that we mentioned. This is actually something we borrowed from World of Warcraft. Okay, time's up, so. That's great, thanks. Right, thank, thank you, you very, thank you very much. much, Band Berion. And let's welcome to the stage, Desk Do. Hi. Uh, everybody, and I'm Adam. I'm from Desdo. I'm co-founder. Uh, in Desdo, we revolutionize the way of work for distributed teams and remote workers. This is the solution for the small and middle-sized enterprises, and also for the big enterprises as well, and also for the government agencies if they like it. Uh, let's start it with a few basic facts on the beginning. To first. Uh, and based on the survey, and the global survey in the, in the, in the, in the economics is, shows that two-thirds of our employees wants to work from home instead of raising salaries. And this is, this is the very strange situation you can think, but, but this is the reality. The people are less stressed. Working in the, in the home is sometimes is better than in the office when there you have a climatization and you don't have to stay in the, in the traffic jam. Really. But, and this is the global constant, global, global trend. It's visible in all countries. About the, the last year, there was performance about 25% in the, in the working remote of offices. But there is one serious problem. The serious one problem is that the performance in the, for remote workers is as much, much lower than expected. And the, the business may suffer this way. And this is what we are thinking about. And we think that the technology can help in that area. And that there is a six areas where the technology we can think in a very simple way and every, every single organization can help um, by using that one. And uh, the, our solutions cover all of those. And, uh, and our solutions is, is, a, is a one, which called one virtual cloud desktop, which is called all this application. And there is also the, the possibility to file sharing and the collaboration tools inside that one. All right, so how does it look? Imagine that you have the like the Windows, let's say, operating system, but it's running on the web browser. It's possible, it's possible, but it's, it's virtual. It's not the Citrix technology. You can use it. The HTML technology is growing up. The JavaScript is mature enough. There's a plenty of net frameworks you can use it, but it's not easy to make it, right? All right, so in the very si simple, typical scenario, there's a four simple steps how to make it run it. Just to register your organization, personalized by choosing the application which you want to use, like the food market, right? And access to the resources like the file sharing and the invite orders. By inviting orders, you can invite the U team from your organization, but you can also invite your partners, and you can also invite the customers, which is completely new in the market. It's a very hot topic because you can engage the customers to be really the part of your company. Right, so how does it look? This is, how does it look? This is in, run in the Chrome browser, and uh, it's embedded inside the Chrome browser. You can obviously run in the full screen even if you like it. Right, we sell it in the two models, in the SIS model, which is for small and middle-sized enterprises, and also for the private cloud, for the big enterprises, which is very hot topic because you keep your all your data on your data center, it's not leaking for the US guys, right? This is very hot topic in Germany. All right, so. This is sets of applic business application inside that one. It's obviously, it's a Google Apps. In very simple, you can embed it. You can also uh, we have a project management tools in the grant chat. We have a CRM, invoicing. There are multiple scenarios you can use it. There's a collaboration tools. We can chat with each other with your team inside the workspaces of the projects. There is a good new market for the and then we are offering our solution also for the data centers. And they're also for external vendors which want to talk with us and want to integrate their own solution, the cloud solution inside our system. There's a new revenue market for them. The market, absolutely, is obviously huge. It says $300 billion on the, on the table, absolutely. That's $30 billion on the cloud. This is the very hot topic and it's rising very fast. 
And the SIS model is 28 billion already. But only on the $3 billion, it's on, only for completely new tools, which are, we think we are, you can, you can buy it. And uh, the, this is the company you are spending. All right, so how does it look from the rising po possibilities? This is very good for the good opportunity for the VC. Currently, we spent uh, about one, only $100,000. It's our investment. There is already invested. There is no debt by any form from this company. It's live product. 1,000 users, it adopters. They are using every day daily. And we are ready for the Series A. Now we are knocking for the door for the, for, for the VC. And now we have a plan how to spend our money, how to do to grow up. All right. We, in the three years, we want to be at a positive uh, return for the, for the VC. And that it will be, I, we, I, we hope that we will deliver for them the positive return for the investment. All right. So there's also a possibility to run this solution in this a, in the in the tv it's says we call it the smart tv that the, the box is like that one and that's we've already done it right thank, right, you. thank you very much <laughs> now three minutes for the jury all right your questions <clears throat> so this seems as a very uh deep and complex solution so how do you onboard your users how you what? How do you onboard them? How do you make sure that they know how to use everything? Uh, that's, is, that's a very good question because we built it specially and we fostered the same behavior which is already known for the user because it does look like typical operating system. So there is no learning curve for them. And this is very ad advantage for the user because it's very easy to get into the system. See how you can copy between the folders, you can copy between the file sharing different folders. It's very useful for them. After two minutes after you log in, you recognize how does it look like? How does it work with that one? It's very easy. Um, it's natural. You mentioned that 82% of the, of the home workers uh, fail to deliver their goals. No, it's 83% based on the age. Uh, on right, the you, mean, you, you know what so I'm talking a lot about. Of, a lot of people. So how does this software solve the solution? Because there wasn't clearly uh, a clear answer to well, that question. Right, uh, that's, it's a very simple reason. I'm an entrepreneur from about 20 years. This is not my first company which I'm doing, right. And it's, I'm in IT. And uh, most of my employees are working remotely. I have hired a lot of people around, you know, Polish market, right? This is different cities. And that most of them fail because we do not do, we do not know what they are doing really, right? And this way, I, I'm as, for instance, I'm, I'm, I'm owner of the company. I know what the people are doing because I, ha I see the activity. I can react very simple, right? Because the reaction of the owner is very important to be this company running. Right. If you see the people in the office, you have to see what they are doing. But if they sleep in the in the in the houses, you don't know what they are doing, right? So this way, if you observe what they are doing, we know what is going on. So the pitch is more about to bosses yeah. tracking the activity of your yeah. workers rather than trust, trust, belief, uh, but, but recognize what is doing, right? This mm -hmm. is this is this okay. is what's supposed to be the boss is doing, right? You, you mentioned you have a thousand users and you yes. said they use it all the time, but can you give some actual data on that? How many of them use it every day, every week? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good question because uh, most of them came after, after we launched the project in June and we get the many awards for this project and the speech about, about us and so many users worldwide came in to us and, uh, and log in and, this, and check in if this is for them or not. But about 25% uh, of these users are still working. We do not charge them because we want to see how the people reacted, how they adopted this. About 200 bucks fix it every month before we started to charge it. So we want to start it in January. January. Obviously, we will get it many drop off. But finally, we had the product on the live and the product shoots for the people. Just one needs. quick question before he does the gong. So how's the productivity of the thousand people? Because you said, you know, with normal assistance, 80% of people don't do anything. Or How the productivity measures? Yeah. I have How does it compare? Honestly, honestly, I have no clue. If they are using, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, right. But the productivity but your is customers a, it's a how really like to, to measure, right? You must, I don't know, sur make a survey, something like that. How, how does it feel to practically raise it? Maybe. Right. But we didn't know. OK, thank you very much. That's two. <laughs> and let's welcome to the stage Elephant Door. Big round of applause for Elfendor. Hi. Hi.
Hi. Uh, I'm Ada, I'm from Elephant Door, and I will start from my short story. So, I'm 30, uh, 11 years ago I started to rent apartments and rooms, uh, and you know a lot of my stuffs were stolen. And when I come to guy, to landlord, say, hey, what's with my security? And he said like, ha 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 ha, no, 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 no. Uh, the truth is that no one is thinking about uh, security for tenants, and you know there are two and a half million home intrusions yearly only in US and 85% uh, higher risk for tenants. So this is huge, this is a huge thing. And uh, I was thinking about something what is totally easy. And this is Elephant Door, simply smart alarm system, which you can install in seconds on every door. And uh, how does it work? Uh, it's totally simple. You have to install it in seconds on your door and it's working. And it has special anti thief system which can uh, predict a burglary before it happened. So now, how does it work? Uh, so when someone is trying to break in, we have three different sensors, sound vibration motion, which is all the time checking the data and we have uh, artificial intelligence which is telling you that something is wrong through 3G we are sending notification then we are also turning on a loud alarm uh, siren and if you are around you can switch it off uh, by uh, Bluetooth or do it through uh, 3G notification uh, you also uh, have all data storage on your computer so now, how the competition looks. Of course, there are traditional systems which use kind of similar, uh, not really similar, but let's say they, for example, use gyroscope, but they're only in banks and museums and cost like thousands of bucks. Uh, all smart alarm system going in visual, like this. No innovation, let's go with visual, and that's great. But yeah, when you are a tenant, and you have your camera in your home, what you are thinking, like, what is my landlord doing there, you know? And Elephant Door uh, has everything. Uh, so, regarding market, we are in IoT. Uh, $20 billion last year on smart security, and it will grow. It will grow hugely, 50% year to year, uh, and it will uh, rise to uh, 80 billions in uh, 2019. So this is huge space for us to, to act. And 80% of the market do not have alarm system yet. Uh, regarding our business model, of course, numbers are big, uh, but the most important thing from it is that we are uh, below our direct competitors with the price. Uh, regarding our uh, market strategy, um, we, uh, are, we are after uh, one and a half year of R&D. This is our fourth generation prototype. We have working prototype, and now we are starting pre-production uh, process. Uh, for next uh, half a year, we will make a customer validation and, uh, and production process. And the most important thing, next year we are starting with elephant door, elephant window, and then we will have whole complete system in better price than everyone. Uh, so, regarding our team, we are people, very, very smart people. We are working with uh, Polish uh, Technical University from uh, Poznan. Uh, our CEO uh, is owner of real estate uh, development and I am uh, the branding person. And we have more of smart people, police, uh, strategic agency, real estate development, uh, and security experts behind us. So thank you very much and looking forward for your questions. So, so how, how did your Kickstarter campaign went? Because uh, I saw that yeah, it, it yeah. was just a month I, ago, right? Uh, it was, I think I failed by myself. We uh, cancelled our Kickstarter campaign. Uh, two reasons. Last week, uh, Razor, Coolest Cooler, and uh, uh, third, Nano 
uh, campaigns and companies went down, crashed, and all media are now from two weeks saying we are not covering Kickstarter campaigns anymore. And we decided, okay, uh, we have to, we can do it to the end. But for what? If we are already receiving uh, not good feedback that we are on Kickstarter because no Kickstarter company is doing business. We want to make business. So we decided to cancel it and make it by ourselves. Uh, we just made, uh, we just went, uh, came back a uh, week ago from uh, Silicon Valley, we made our first customer validation. We spoke with uh, uh, Stanford uh, University and uh, security experts from there were saying, like, oh, give me 50 now. I want to test it. So uh, we want to make it by, by ourselves. So the tenancy market is your first entry market, but tell me how much of this $20 billion smart security business is actually in this field in more or less B2C? Uh, this was uh, the number from only a smart security sector in IoT. Uh, and this is all B2C, if I remember correctly. It was from BI Intelligence, but I, uh, I think it was all for B2C. So all the other systems use cameras? Is there not another system that uses just vibration and sound like you do? Uh, we are uh, the first who are using uh, three different sensors in this way. And uh, of course, there are sensors which you can um, combine with other cameras and with other system, and then you have some kind of complete system. But you need a lot of pieces to do it. We are one piece device. And uh, we heard that uh, in Silicon Valley they telling uh, that we are like Nest for smart security because uh, we are like one piece, one strict and we want to protect people. You mentioned you have some method of predicting the burglar at the beginning. How does that work? Uh, yeah, predicting. <laughs> uh, so, it's working like this. Uh, you have three sensors which are working all the time. And so on, when it's trying to, let's say, do something with the lock. Uh, then our ANN make a recognition so we have artificial intelligence which can say like okay this kind of movement it's uh, connected to the uh, something not really right and this is the reason why we are before every one yeah all right time is up thank you very much elephant door